A Fayetteville legislator is showing support for gun control measures. KNWA's Kelly O'Neill in Fayetteville to show us how one of three new firearm bills would amend the controversial campus carry law. It's not a Second Amendment issue at all. It's just that there are places that maybe should be gun-free zones. With just weeks left of the legislative session, the Representative Denise Gardner files three gun safety bills. My district sent me here to do this. One bill mandates universal background checks. Another requires holstering for concealed carriers. And House Bill 1938 would amend the campus carry law, restoring the decision-making back to the university. My predecessor was the author of the bill that was um, pushed through fairly quickly and not vetted and there are just a lot of unintended consequences. Current campus carry law, which was introduced by Charlie Collins and signed into law in 2017, allows someone with enhanced carry training to carry a concealed firearm on college campuses in government buildings. It's been a controversial law since the beginning. Collins previously saying it's an extra layer of safety in public places. I believe that what that'll do is help deter some of these potential killers from trying to commit crimes here in Arkansas. We didn't do anything to 562 except pull the colleges, college campuses out. And, you know, I, I think it's up to each college campus. But with the new bills filed so late in the legislative session, Dr. Andrew Dowdle, professor of political science for the University of Arkansas, says it could be more symbolic. The idea is that this is an important issue that she thinks is uh, valuable and wants to end up fighting for this over the next few years. Dowdle added the bills will be difficult to pass the current General Assembly because of its conservative pro-Second Amendment majority. While it's not impossible for a bill to get passed at that point and go through the committee process, it's relatively unlikely. As for Gardner, she says she made a promise to her constituents and is sticking to it. In Fayetteville, Kelly O'Neill, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.